right, let's talk about the Christians. So what I've noticed here is that modern Christians are essentially Buddhist. And um, they've taken this pacifist sort of left-wing theme or subversion to, to quite an extreme where it's pretty difficult to, to classify them as Christian anymore. It's, they're more Buddhist. Uh, I mean, I can't say they're not Christian. I can't, I can't make that call. But if you're acting like a Buddhist, talking like a Buddhist, and smelling like a Buddhist, uh, I don't know. Uh, so Christianity is not pacifist. It's not about loving everything. It's, 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 it's when it, turn the other cheek means in a personal interaction with a Christian. It doesn't mean about invading army. It doesn't mean about you should take a billion refugees. It doesn't mean any of that. The current Pope is a Buddhist. Uh, he's, if, he's, if he wants non-Christian refugees, He's not a Christian. He's a he's an imposter. You cannot. Christianity is not about being nice to everything and everyone. It's about upholding truth. And if the truth is not upheld, then then you are now a Buddhist. Okay. If you put feelings or being nice ahead of truth, then you are a Buddhist. Yeah. Uh, so. What's happened to them is, uh, you know, it's like uh, Christianity, you must hate falsehood. You must hate the wicked. You must kill the wicked. You must not tolerate falsehood at all. So my suspicion is that since the separation of church and state, where they killed all the kings. So the king was a, a, the Christ representative who would impose the religion. That over time, the state, the state would uh, over time sort of indoctrinate in the new religion of Buddhism. Because Buddhism is always playing defense and uh, it's, it's pretty much useless. Um, if you notice, uh, if you know anything about history, Christians were never pacifists. They were the furthest thing from pacif pacifist. You know, the, the, the Pope back then was essentially, essentially like a commander-in-chief of, of the army. So it's, it's completely false that uh, Christianity is pacifist. Christianity is not about peace. It's not about being nice. It's about upholding truth. However, however un un <laughs> unpleasant that truth may be. You know, if you go, if you gotta kill a pedophile, you gotta do it. If you gotta physically remove foreigners from your land, then you gotta do it. You know, if you gotta uh, violently remove homosexuals, then you gotta do it. You know, it's not a pacifist at all. There's nothing about it that's pacifist. It is about upholding truth. So if you're about being nice and pacifist, then you're a Buddhist. If you're about upholding truth, then you're a Christian. That's pretty much it. I can't make the call about who's Christian or not. I mean, that's, that's, again, that's above my pay grade. But I know when I see a Buddhist, and I, I, I can't say in the last, that I've, <laughs> I, I can't really name a Christian that's not a Buddhist these days, but, but that's how it is. Um, I, I really don't think you can maintain the Christian religion uh, unless the state is also Christian. Because the state will, over time, always be in opposition to, to the Christian religion. Because the Christian religion um, is about upholding truth, where the state is about upholding lies. So if they're separate, they're going to be in conflict, and then the state will, will tell you what it is rather than, rather than what it really is. Okay, so there's a short one on Christians being Buddhist. Unless they regain their spine and become militant again and, and uh, be about upholding truth rather than being gay, then they're always going to keep losing. If you keep signing petitions rather than acting, then you're going to keep losing. So that's it.